Matt Hillier, and you're watching the Stealth Mac Podcast. Thanks for watching. Uh, this week we're going to talk about how to pull Flash uh, video from websites and then uh, transcode them into different uh, formats and then uh, burn them to a DVD or audio CD. Uh, basically, I got this idea from uh, something I did for my son. Uh, basically, he... Uh, loves the Playhouse Disney website and so what I did for him was go to the website and download all the videos he likes to watch and then I uh, put them on a DVD for him so that he could uh, watch them on the TV and let me use my computer for other means. Alright so the first step in the process is you want to find a website with material that you want to download. Uh, I'm going to go to the Imagination Ready? Movers video, video site. Just click a picture to get started. Okay, so you're going to start watching the video. You're going to go to Windows Activity. This is on Safari. And you can see the video right here. The 240 by 180 FLV. So you can close the window that pops up. That's enough of that. So I can go to the video. I can go open with VLC just to prove that uh, this really did download. All right. So there's two steps. Um, you can open this with uh, QuickTime Pro and export it, or you can use uh, MPEG Stream Clip, which is free, and export it. I'm going to go ahead and use MPEG Stream Clip. Oops. Just probably put that on the desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and drag it into MPEG Stream Clip. I've got a black box, which means the video is there. You can actually play it there, too. Uh, I'm going to go File, Export to MPEG 4. H264, I'm going to leave it high quality. And we're going to just say, just call it IM. Okay, so it's exported completely. So now I have it in MP4 format. So I could put this on my iPod, iPhone, Apple TV. All right. Now, the next step, if you wanted to make an audio CD out of this, is go on MPEG Stream Clip again. You can drag either source uh, and go File. Export audio, there it is. So then you make your settings, click OK, we'll go theme song. If you're wondering what this uh, gray bar is here in the spotlight comments down here, that's an application called Default Folder X. I'll probably do a review of it uh, shortly. Alright, so now I have just exported the audio from that. So if I were to open that up. Alright, so if I wanted to make a CD of this, I could go into iTunes, I could drag this in to my music, go down, there it is, open it up. Then I could, uh, I think you have to make a playlist on the new iTunes 8, so we'll go Kid CD. And then go back up to my music, drag this into the Kid CD, right click it, go burn playlist to disk. Audio CD, uh, I didn't do anything fancy with it, I clicked burn and it's waiting for a blank disk so that's how you would make an audio CD uh, obviously you'd have more videos uh, I downloaded if you could re recall on the website there was five I downloaded okay so uh, you've converted your files over there was a couple more things that uh, I should go over with you 
what I did is I downloaded, like I said, three or four flash files. And what I did then is I just dra uh, copied them all or selected them all. So let's just say I had, let's just do this and drag those over. So now there's two files back to back in here. And I'm going to do a file export again. We'll leave it. All right, so basically what this does is it's going to take all the video files that you drag in and make one movie file out of it. So uh, for my example earlier, what I did with my son is I downloaded not only the five videos here from the Imagination Mover site, but then I went to the, some of the other Playhouse Disney characters and downloaded their stuff too. Uh, so I ended up with about 20 or 30 little videos. <clears throat> then what I did was just drug them all in here and made one big video out of it. I really wasn't concerned with being able to skip or chapters or anything else like that. So just for an example here, so this is two files. Alright, so there's the first one. And about halfway through, yep, you see, you can see it's the second one again. So if you wanted to make one big movie out of all your files, this is probably the easiest way to do it. Otherwise, you know, if you have 30 different little clips, you're going to have 30 different little clips that you're going to have to import into iDVD, and then you're going to have to edit the menu and uh, choose which ones you want to play. And, and uh, we'll get into that in a second. But I just wanted to show you that the easiest method was just to drag everything into MPEG Stream Clip and then hit 